<laughs> hey guys, um, wow, it has been quite a while. Actually, I think it's, uh, what's the today's date? It's October 18th. I think some of the last videos <clears throat> that I've been putting live have been shot in September. And I'm looking like I need to go tan. Also, I don't even know what shirt this is or how I got it. I think I got it, but it, the way it, see how it like rides up in the back? It makes me look like, I mean, we all know. <clears throat> Drive by. Um, we all, if, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, and I'm sorry about that, um, <clears throat> you're probably seeing a therapist by now. <clears throat> Hell, you know that I've had a, um, I don't want to say a problem, but I noticed uh, a couple years ago, maybe three years ago, that you know I was really getting, I don't want to say overdeveloped, overdeveloped for what my goals were, traps. So I really do have, uh, sorry. Um, I just don't know why it's sticking up. I do have very uh, developed traps. I'm fine with it. I certainly don't want them to get massive. Um, so I remember when I first trained with um, Jenny Lynn down in Tampa, uh, maybe I'll link to that video. This was like 2010, longer than I thought. Um, but she had told me, you know, uh, that I was using uh, my weights too heavy. When you do like a um, side delt raise, you know, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm, I'm leaning. If you're at the gym, I'll get back to this song in a second. If you're at the gym, you can hold on to like a machine and then you're doing your uh, side laterals like this, so you know, you're working your shoulders, which you guys know, shoulders are like my favorite thing. Arms are my favorite thing to work, and I do love leg day. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I was using 20 pounds because my stupid mindset was like, I want mass, I want them bigger, I want them more pronounced, so that's the way to work it. Well, turns out if you go too heavy, then you're, you know, there's so much to be said about closing your eyes and really feeling what muscle you're working, and some of you, might think this is pretty simple, but it's very easy to, and I've had several trainers recently say, it's more important that you get the form right than to you know, either kill it with reps or worry about going up a weight. Get, make sure you're doing everything with correct form. Because like, you know, in my case, I was using 20 pound dumbbells, and look at this, I don't know if you can tell. So ideally, if you're gonna do that move, you'd be like, let's see if I can get up here. You know, slow, where this is moving. Okay, I can feel that, right? Now, if you're moving too heavy, you're doing this, and that's using this to lift. And if, try this at home. Try this at home, because there's no weights, right? I'm not telling anybody to do anything that's gonna make them injure. If you just take this arm and focus on, act like this is broken, just lift with this. Of course it's gonna enable, you're, you're gonna be working your traps anyway, but you wanna be lifting with this. So she told me, I was just watching this video this morning because someone commented on it. Um, if you are using too heavy or using wrong form, you're gonna overdevelop it, you guys know. I've always been like, why are my traps so developed? And in the past, my shoulders weren't as developed as I want them to be. So now, don't be, you know, again, this is a, a lesson to learn because sometimes people be at the gym uh, and they're worried about can, whether you're on the treadmill, comparing yourself to how fast the next person is. It's just, um, th see that looks more normal. Um, if you're if you're starting to run, I've done this too. You're on the treadmill and you look around, and I would do this because you know I was a new runner, and I would compare myself to the person next to me or the person next to me. And I'm like, oh crap, they're going six, and that's like, you know, they're just like mm, drinking their coffee, talking, and I'm at five, going, holy crap! You've got to just do what's right for you. And if you're at the gym and you're lifting, I used to do this too. I would compare what lit what weights I was doing for overhead press with Krissa or, or someone else. And I remember, I specifically remember one time Krissa's blog, she was like, um, I think she was using 30s and I was using 15s and I'm like, I suck, I'm only using 15s. Well guess what, if 15 for me is pushing it and helping me get stronger, that's what's right for me. You've, you've gotta, the, one of the best lessons I've learned is do your thing, what's pushing it for you with correct form, working with a trainer, right? Um, make sure you, you focus on that kind of stuff. Because otherwise, 
you end up with an injury like me with this blasted Achilles situation. Uh, hopefully I'll get back to that, but I'm already at five minutes. Let's get back to our little song here. Believe it or not, I had this out in the garage with me for my cardio today. Um, and <laughs> that song came on. <laughs> Can't help but think of Channing Tatum when I hear that song. Now, here's the thing, you guys. Of course, yes. Oh, this is Cindy Lauper. Um, I did watch that movie, but I am, I think I can, I'm pretty sure I can speak for most girls I know. I have not been to a male strip club. I don't have any desire to. Um, I find the getting close to getting naked part, not my thing. <laughs> Ask anybody. It's, I, it does not appeal to me. In fact, that part of the movie, when the guys would get down to something very whatever, I was like, it's just not, not my thing. <laughs> I'd rather see a guy in a pair of jeans. That said, I really love to watch people that know how to dance, whether it's female or male. Um, a lot of my nieces were in, um, I don't know what they call it, dance troupes, so, um, and yes, I'm a fan of NSYNC, I'm gonna put it out there. Love watching those guys. So, um, I liked the dance stuff in there before they take their clothes off. I'm being serious. Um, anyway, so, I have a lot to catch up with you guys on, but, Let's see if Kelly can stay under 10 minutes. You think I can do it? Let's give you a quick update. So it is Friday. We were out at uh, in Boston this week at Reebok World Headquarters. Um, and uh, it was, it was a little, I'm a little frustrated with myself, a little frustrated with the, but I'm not gonna let it get me down, but um, being out at, at Reebok World Headquarters and being at the, um, Reebok One Gym that's out there, which is just this killer gym. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw some of the highlights. Um, and again, I'm not doing CrossFit. Um, probably get sued for saying that in this vlog. But um, I don't belong to a CrossFit box, nor am I doing CrossFit. But I, there was part of me that thought, oh, if they did a, um, a workout that's not going to involve any jumping or plyo um, and is not going to involve things that you know, don't, aren't in alignment with what I'm doing, maybe I would participate. But then, you know, as we started to walk over there, I did get all changed and everything. I just realized, you know, they had this really cool Spartan, Spartan race obstacle out front, and that's what they started everybody warming up with, and it was climbing over walls and crap. And I just kept thinking, like, I bet you if Mark was here, he would say, don't do it, because of the risk of tearing my Achilles. Um, so I decided not to do that, because there was some jumping up, and then they went inside to the box and they did a, um, a workout of the day. I feel like I have to do this again so I don't get sued for saying the right, the wrong words. Um, so they did a workout of the day um, and it had uh, thrusters, rows, which I love, really love rowing. Um, thrusters, rows, I think they did a wor workout of the day called Jackie. Um, so it was rows, uh, thrusters, what else? Uh, then they did pull-ups and they did modifications for everybody, you know, so if you're, if you're not um, used to doing kipping pull-ups like they do in, in CrossFit. Um, those of you that know what I'm talking about are probably laughing, but those of you that don't, just don't even let it sit in your head. Um, they did modifications for people that, you know, they said if you haven't done, rather than try to use the bands and, and teach everybody for the purpose of that workout, they just had people get up on a, um, a step and kind of use the momentum of their legs to push them up over the bar. I, that's kind of what I heard. But anyway, all that said, I took pictures and filmed everybody and didn't do the uh, workout of the day just because I also was asking some of the girls there. I asked Tina, Heather, several people that I knew had done a lot of running or had some injuries. And I'm like, have you ever had an Achilles issue? And Tina said, interestingly enough, I might ask to quote her for my blog uh, post on this if I actually write a blog post in the next year. Um, Tina had said, now Tina does just CrossFit uh, for the most part. She does an occasional 5K or whatever. But she said she had a, an Achilles injury that just, I asked her, I go, what'd you do? She goes, you just have to wait it out. She said, I kept working out and I made it bad. And then I had to just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. She goes, and it takes forever to heal. And of course I was like, can I just delete what you said? <laughs> but all that said, um, Bon Jovi. 
All that said, I am reluctantly, and I only say reluctantly in that I, I really want to run. I really want to jump around and do that stuff. I really enjoy that. You know, I told you guys when I used to do my, my cardio here at home that I'd come in the kitchen and towards the end when I was making my coffee and stuff and my oatmeal was cooking, you know, I would jump around. And this is probably telling you why with the excessive amount of plyo and running and not stretching, okay? So stretching and all of this myofascial release is a big part of what I do now. So I was doing overkill on the jumping and the running, not stretching. And I could be wrong, but based on my understanding, Achilles issues can start to happen because they're, you know, if you look up, look up your anatomy, the um, Achilles area is linked to the, um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a trainer, so I realize I probably sound like a moron. Um, it's linked to your calf. So here, you know, I, I, I was doing a little bit of jumping out there because I was testing. I was testing for Mark to see if I could do um, some of the jumping jacks that he had originally put on here. Okay, so I was testing it to see how it felt and, you know, I realized everything, when you're really paying attention, you realize, wow, this is all calf. Even though, yeah, I, I, I knew that because if I was doing the DVDs, several times Kathy would go, you know, we're really killing the calves and whatever. But I think I just got used to all of this, didn't stretch, and a lot of that contributed to um, this issue. So I'm really listening Although that's what I'm saying. It was, it was frustrating to be out there and I'm changed into my workout clothes and yet I knew I shouldn't do that, the, that workout. So um, I didn't do that. But anyway, we flew out there on Monday. We arrived by the time we got to the hotel. So I got picked up here. When's the limo? Limo got here around six o'clock in the morning. So I had to get up at five. Limo's here at six. By the time we got to the hotel, it was three. So these are the kind of days that take a lot out of you and I'm telling you by the time we got we we ate something because we were famished and uh, Dave and I kind of had a meeting and then we went to our uh, respective rooms and you know I'm sitting there going okay I should go down and do my workout but then what I decided is no here's what I'll do I'll do Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday you know because Mark is doesn't have to be Monday through Friday so that was my plan I'll let myself rest go to bed so then Tuesday was the day that we were at uh, Reebok. I got home with every intention of doing my training that night, but suffice it to say that I had a friend with me, Aunt Flo, who was really um, pulling me down. And it's times like that that um, when I'm traveling, oh, this is so old, when I'm traveling, uh, when I'm traveling, you have the combination, this is somewhat part of me that goes, am I making excuses? And then part of me is like, or am I being smart to get rest and make sure, you know, is it better to do a workout when you are just physically and mentally kind of exhausted? Or is it better to wake up, be, have full energy and, and have at it? That was the choice I made Tuesday night. Um, and I guess I chose that because what I'd rather do is not have that do or die mentality I used to have where that's what was happening, you know, with a certain person who was like, no matter what, you've got to do cardio every night, 30 minutes, you've got to do cardio in the morning. So there were so many times where I'm literally like, oh. and that's why I was exhausted all the time. I'll tell you this, aside from the moments when Aunt Flo joins me, um, I don't have that lack of energy that I had before. So here's the thing, let's summarize, because I've been doing this for about three weeks now, uh, Mark's plan, where this is my quote unquote cardio. This is my strength circuits, two different circuits. So alternate every other day or yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the usual plan is uh, strength circuits. And then two days of the, the cardio plan in there. It can be Tuesday, Thursday, or it can be um, say, skip Tuesday and do Thursday, Saturday, whatever. Um, here's my observations. I absolutely love it. Mentally, there still is part of me that I get to the end of the workout and I feel like I want to add an hour of cardio, of, you know, cardio. Um, I miss running, without a doubt, I absolutely miss running. Probably because when you're told you can't do something, you miss it even more, right? Um, but I am getting stronger in every single workout. I've increased my deadlift weight, I've increased my um, squat weight, I've increased everything. In fact, I've increased my weight so much that I really am gonna, I told Mark, I need to just train at the gym now because I can't go heavy enough with my barbell here at home um, to be able to, for, um, for squats, to get it over my head. I think I got up to 
70 pounds and I know I could have gone heavier um, because but I you know at 70 pounds I knew that I was either gonna throw my back out or do something so I did 50 50 or 60 pounds I'm not quite sure um, so I'm getting stronger I'm making progress each time um, definitely feeling good feeling like it's working meaning feeling like my body's responding um, and it's flexible too you know I broke that oogie ball I'm at 15 minutes. I broke that oogie ball the first time I did the workout, so I asked Mark if I could substitute a different move um, with the ultimate sandbag, and he was cool with that. So um, it's good. I enjoy it. It does give me a lot more time. Um, Mark said he was cool with me doing uh, yoga sometimes at night, not seven days a week. You know, he was like, I'd rather see you do it for now, you know, three to four, maybe three to four nights a week, and instead of doing an hour, shoot for like half an hour, 40 minutes. So I've thrown some of that in this week. I might do that tonight probably. Um, but again, just not pushing it, not pushing it. Um, and it's, it's helping me because it's not pushing me mentally to have that overwhelming thing riding on my head like, oh, how am I gonna fit everything in? It's, it's helping me to not be as stressed with my workload because I actually have time. And again, I'm really feeling good about it. I, I like the style of training. I feel like I'm, well, obviously I am getting stronger because I've gone up on my weights each time. Um, and now I have to go to the gym uh, because I can't do it at home because I'm so badass. So uh, that's that. I have other stuff to tell you guys this week. Hopefully I'll be back on my game. Uh, I do have uh, a new assistant with work, so uh, that might help me with getting stuff like my blog posts up and so on. Because really what happens with me and my blog lately is that I shoot all my videos and that's always been my process. I shoot my videos, upload them to YouTube, and then later I write my blog. And when I write my blog, I sit down, I don't plan it in advance, I just kind of like this, talk about whatever. And I just know it takes me half an hour or so, which is not a lot, but when I sit down I'm like, so I keep putting it off and putting it off. I think it's been at least two weeks since I wrote on my blog, which is really bad. Um, times are changing. What are you going to do? So um, I will talk to you guys later. Um, Mr. Flo, you're probably going to ask for that, but it's hard to see. Um, but these guns are growing. I will um, talk to you guys this weekend. So have a good weekend.